Hello folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. I come back in here this evening to say hello to you guys again. And we got another script here that says hurtful words can destroy us. Male and female narcissists tell us every day, no matter what we do or say is not good enough. It destroys us to the core because we're seeking the approval of the narcissist, but we don't get the approval from them. It's because they're not interested in you from the beginning, folks. They're not capable of love. You're only a form of supply to the narcissist. The bad mouth, the bad mouth you, they bad mouth you on a daily basis and tell you that you're no good at anything and they can cut the way you look as well. People in the general can do this as well, folks. People who speak hurtful words, it never goes away in our minds and rips us apart. So now we are needing to heal ourselves from the hurtful words. We need to know that we are a good person, so we need to convince ourselves of this and start to heal mentally by self-talk and, and mending ourselves, folks. Meaning that we need to heal ourselves from this, folks, because we got the narcissist telling us day after day that we're not a good person and that we're no good or anything like that. And of course, he says more things, but I'm not, you know, going to explain it by detail because I'm sure a lot of you know how the narcissist can be, folks. Uh, they just tell us that we can't get a job, we're stupid and that will never amount to anything. And this, has, this is truly how the narcissist feels about us, folks. He probably felt that way about us before his mask slipped too. But see, he had to trick you into the relationship and everything to make you think that everything was gonna be peaches and cream. And then after you get the mask slips, then you find out that this is how he feels about you. And then he's going to start cutting you down or she and telling you all this stuff to make you hurt inside, folks. And this leaves a mental scar on us from, it, it, sometimes it can do it to us for years, folks. And it takes a little while to heal, but you have to keep working on yourself with the self-talk and everything, folks, just like I told you before, because these narcissists will repeat themselves over and over every single day with these hurtful words. And there's also people out here that can cut us to the core too as well, folks. Uh, we got to watch out for those toxic people as well that all they think about is negativity all the time and they try to cut us down and uh, make fun of how we are and make fun of whatever we do or just anything to try to belittle us every day. Uh, we need to put these people out of our lives, folks, and push them out and live our own lives and be happy and do the best we can and do the self-talk in the mirror. Tell yourself that you're good enough and that you are a human being and the narcissist is only trying to put you in his abusive pattern, him and her because the male and female narcissists are reptiles, folks, and they don't care for anyone. So that's just how it is. And I know I keep saying this on every video I get on, but I have to keep reminding you all that if you're trying to live with a narcissist and heal the narcissist, it's a waste of time because if you're trying to heal the narcissist, He's jerking you down the whole time and making you underneath him. And folks, nobody is above anybody. 
I don't care if they got more money or whatever they got. Nobody is above you. We're all equal to the same. Uh, we all are equal out here, folks. Nobody is less than anybody. We're all human beings and we all have to live together, right? But anyway, um, I just want to get back in here, folks, and let you know that them hurtful words can get you to the core. You know, they make you think that you're such a bad person that nobody else would want you or that maybe you could never work a job because that narcissist, them, that male and female narcissist has made you feel like that you can't do it. And folks, you can do it. You can and you will. You just have to uh, work on yourself and do the best you can to try to heal these folks. Uh, but the hurtful words, it takes them a long way, a long time to go away, folks. If you're mental, if you're if you're mentally abused by a narcissist, it takes a while. Uh, physical abuse does hurt, and I don't like being in physical abuse, folks. Don't take this the wrong way. But physical abuse, if you got bruises and stuff like that on you, and it's no worse than a bruise. That will heal, but the emotional abuse is what really hurts, folks. That's why I said uh, emotional abuse is the heart of abuse. Because uh, a lot of people think because they're only being emotionally abused, uh, that they're, that's all the narcissist is going to do, the male and female. But no, that's wrong, folks. If they're emotionally abusing you, then eventually you're going to start receiving physical abuse, okay? They're just working their way up in the pattern. But these hurtful words can destroy us, folks. And we have to uh, keep our minds on this. Anything that's hurtful in the way of words can sink deep into us and take us a while to get rid of that after being around a toxic person, like a, a male and a female narcissist. But we just have to keep working on it daily, folks, and getting our exercise and doing the things that's important to us and hang in there. And I hope you guys are enjoying this YouTube channel. And I'm hoping that it's very helpful for y'all and that it's, it's going to uh, help you heal and, you know, show you what the male and female narcissists are capable of. I'm so glad that I got out of that situation, folks, and I hope you are too. Remember, folks, stay no contact. Don't get tempted to go back into abusive patterns now. And stay away from the reptile narcissist, the male and the female, because they're toxic to us. They, they also say hurtful words as well. And we all know that, folks. And all the alienated parents out here, I'm still praying for you and hoping that your situation is getting better. Uh, just keep trying to reach out to them children, folks, and write them letters and stuff. Let them kids know that you're interested in uh, still being their parent, regardless of what the narcissist says, because we all know that the narcissist is a habitual liar anyway, and he's going to try to convince us that the children don't love us and stuff. But the children do love us. They love both parents, folks. Don't forget that. So I wanted to get back in here and say hello to you all. Um, it has been a while since I've been in here. I usually try to hold out one video to wait for the evening to get in here and be able to say hi to you all. And you got this, folks. Remember. 
you're gonna be one of these days you're gonna be a warrior too for getting out of domestic violence and you're gonna look back at, and think about these videos and remember them, folks. Well, thank you for joining my YouTube channel. And I thank you and have a nice evening, okay? Bye.